All right. Um, okay, I'm going to start the service now. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is, the Lord risen, is risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, Father and to the, the Son, Son, and, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was, it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Yes. Has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep, keep the feast, feast. Not, not with the, the old heaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread, bread of sincerity, of sincerity and, and truth. truth. Alleluia. Christ, Christ being raised dead, from the dead, will never, never die again. again. Death, Death no, no longer has dominion, has dominion over him. Over him. Over him. The death will be died once for all. But the, but the life, life he lives, he lives, he lives, he lives to God. To God. So, so also consider, consider yourselves dead, dead to sin and, and alive to God, to God in Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Christ, Christ, Christ has, has been raised, raised from, from the dead. dead. The first, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Fall asleep. For sin by a man, by a man came, to death. Came, to death. came to death. By a by man, man came to death. Also the resurrection, the resurrection of, the dead. of the dead. For as, For as in Adam, Adam all die, so also, so also in Christ, Christ shall all be alive. Hallelujah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. You're on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Sorry, just a sec. Uh... Um... Okay. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the beautiful gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver or gold. But what I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk. And he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God. And they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. God. Let's join in reading responsively Psalm 105, verses 1 through 8. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing, sing, sing to him. him. Sing, sing, sing praises, praises to him. To him. And speak of all his marvelous, his marvelous works. works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for, for the Lord and his strength. And strength. Continually, Continually seek his face. his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. Oh, oh offspring of, of Abraham, his servant. servant. O children, o children of Jacob, Jacob is chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He, is he always has always been mindful, been mindful of his covenant, the promise, the promise he made for a thousand, thousand generations. generations. Yes. <laughs> Under the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. 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 Amen.
And a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself and all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Okay, a lot of you know this painting that I'm holding up here. It was donated by the architect who designed our church's addition and his wife in memory of their son, who was killed during World War II. It used to hang behind the altar in the basement of the chapel of the church. But when that room became the St. Cecilia room, the painting was moved to the cloister. It shows the climactic moment in today's reading from St. Luke's Gospel. The two men who had met the resurrected Jesus on the road did not recognize him, but listened intently to his story. Yet only when he joined them for dinner, the scene in the painting, did they realize who he was. Jesus made himself known to these minor disciples, only one of whom is even named even before he appeared to his 11 closest followers. Frederick Borsch, the former Bishop of Los Angeles said of this passage, while the Lord is no longer present with us, the church now knows that Jesus will disclose himself in scripture and in the breaking of bread. In these strange times, we look to scripture for our connection and we look forward to the time when we can once again joined together in the breaking of the bread. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done 
on earth, 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 earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, bread. and, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. 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 Almighty God, we pray for those who have died of the coronavirus, remembering especially people from Liz Engelman's nursing home work, Grace G, Salvatore, George, Rosemary, Julie, Jean, Edward, Helga, and Jean. We pray for those who are sick and for those who are afraid of getting sick. We also pray for all the sick of our own parish family, especially Virginia, Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Shirley, Mark, Renaldo, Sue, Charles, Carolina, Pam, Kyle, MB, Carol, Marion, Clay, Kai, Henry, Frank, Hef, Rosemary, Rachel, Bernice, and Karen. And also for the recently departed Grace Allen, Veronica Mosby, Marvin Hill, and Stephen Francis Wisenan Jr. I also invite any special prayer requests at this time. Dr. Rachel Simpson, Mark Simpson, Father Simpson's uh, daughter. She's on the prayer list. Okay. <laughs> Andy. Be the shepherd of your people, O Lord, we pray. In the midst of such uncertainty, we wonder how to keep ourselves, our families, our companies, and our churches afloat in a time of economic meltdown. Give us a day our bread. 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 We pray for the millions who are laid off from work and for those who must continue to work because they provide essential services. We pray also for those who cannot afford social distancing, for those who have ac no access to clean water for hand washing, and for those who have no way now to escape from abusive relationships. We yeah. ask you to protect us all. We pray for all first responders, doctors, nurses, and all who work in healthcare. We pray for all who are confined to hospitals, nursing homes, and institutions, and for family members who are not allowed to visit. You are the, the greatest healer, oh Lord. Lord, have mercy on our public officials. Guide them to create appropriate policies. Give them wisdom and good judgment that they will be guided by science and duty, not by ideology or politics. Help them to put humanity first, that the people may follow their guidelines 
and take into account the safety of everyone in all that we do. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, help us to guide our children and our parents through this emergency with cheerfulness, optimism, and faith. Help us to lay our, aside our fears and to focus on the needs of others. Where we can be helpful, let us act on their behalf, even if only from a distance. Lord, Lord make, us make us instruments of your peace. We turn to you, O oh Lord. We have no other help, and we know you are sufficient. You are the very power of love, of health and healing, of protection and mercy. Okay. Come, Come then, then, Lord, Lord help and help, help your people walk with, with the price of, of your own blood, blood and bring us, us with your saints, saints to glory everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you all for